Hello and welcome to Real Science for Kids. The videos in this series are the Advanced Experiments for Level 1 Chemistry. The title of this experiment is Show Me the Starch. Have fun discovering real science with Rebecca. Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Keller. Today we're going to take a look at starches. Remember that a starch is a long chain carbohydrate and we can actually test to see which foods have starch using iodine. There are different types of iodine that you can buy in your local pharmacy. However, not all types of iodine work for this experiment. So we're going to look at three common types of iodine that you can find at the store. The first type of iodine is just your regular tincture of iodine. It's 2.4% uh, iodine in an alcohol solution. The second type of iodine we're going to look at is actually a decolorized iodine. And the third type of iodine is called providine iodine, and it's a 10% topical solution. So let's take a look at these three different types of iodine to see if they will turn a potato uh, dark. So the type of iodine that will work for this experiment is the iodine that will turn potato starch a deep, dark, uh, black purple. So let's first take a look at the 2.4% iodine. It's just 2.4% iodine in 40% alcohol, and we're going to just tap it here on the potato. Put a little bit on this potato. You can see it's soaking up there. Let's try the decolorized iodine. Put that right there. You can see the decolorized iodine isn't turning the potato dark at all. And next let's use the povidine iodine. And we'll just drop a couple of drops on the potato to see what happens. So you can see that the three different types of iodine react with this potato very differently. The 2.4% tincture of iodine that's in 40% alcohol works the best. You can see the potato has turned a deep, dark, uh, black purple. The povidine iodine is working a little bit. You can see there are some places where the potato is starting to turn black, but the decolorized iodine doesn't work at all. So I recommend the 2.4% tincture of iodine in 40% alcohol. And if you read the label, you can also notice that the tincture of iodine is sodium iodide. The decolorized iodine is actually potassium iodide. So you want to stick with anything that has sodium iodide, 2.4% and some alcohol. I believe that this will give you the best results. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's move this potato over and we will try a piece of bread. So let's try a little piece of bread here. We'll take the iodine and we'll just tap a few drops of iodine, you can see it immediately starts to turn black. And that means the iodine is interacting with the long chain carbohydrates, which are called starches, and telling us that this piece of bread contains starch. So it does have long chain carbohydrates because the uh, bread, the iodine, turns this deep purple black. So let's take a look at celery. Take a quick piece of celery over here. And we'll put a couple of drops of iodine on there and see if the celery has any starch. And it doesn't look like the center part of the celery does, but it looks like there might be some little parts, little outside part of the celery might have a little bit of starch because you can see there's a little ridge on the outside that's giving us some little drops of dark spots. So there's a little bit of starch in a celery, a piece of celery. Um, let's try a marshmallow. Let's try the pink marshmallow first and I'm going to open it up just so we can get the inside. You can see I already have a little bit of iodine on my fingers and it's already turning the marshmallow black. A little black. And yes, it has some starch in it. Although a marshmallow is mostly made of sugar, 
still has carbohydrates in the form of starches. Let's try this golden yam. So this is a golden sweet potato. Let's see if it has any starch. And in fact it does. It seems to have quite a bit of starch. So the yam turns the iodine deep purple or black. How about a banana? This is a green banana. I saved the skin so we could see the that this was a green banana. Put a little bit of iodine on there. And it looks like the banana, this banana has a significant amount of starch in it. And that doesn't surprise me because a green banana actually, uh, because it's not ripe, the sugars haven't broken apart. During the ripening process, the individual sugars from the carbohydrates uh, break apart so that the banana becomes sweeter. But when the banana is green, the carbohydrates are still largely uh, t together in a long chain. And so uh, green bananas have quite a bit of carbohydrate. Let's test this theory by looking at a, um, a more ripe banana. This isn't an incredibly ripe banana, but we'll see if there's any difference at all. Maybe a little bit of difference. Not much. You can still see that the green, this banana is still pretty green. But I'll bet over time, if we were able to take a number of different bananas and observe their ripening process, we might be able to see um, different levels of uh, uh, starches in them. OK, so let's take a watermelon. I'm curious about a piece of watermelon. I've never tested watermelon before. So let's see if this watermelon has any carbohydrates in it. And it has some. I would say that it certainly doesn't have that as much as the yams or potatoes, but it is turning a little bit black. But really it's staying mostly brown. And let's test the rind. Let's see if the rind has anything like we saw with the uh, celery. In fact, I'm not getting any starches in the rind of the watermelon. So it looks like the watermelon doesn't have a lot of starch um, in it because the iodine didn't turn a deep purple black. In fact, it stayed mostly brown. But as I'm looking at the paper, there's a few drops of iodine that have fallen on the paper. And it, that tells me that the paper, in, in fact, may have some starch in it. So let's take a piece of paper and just test that idea. Some paper here. Let's put a little iodine on the paper. See what happens. And oh my goodness, it turns deep purple black, which tells me that this paper has some starch in it. And so that's really kind of interesting. And let's see if this other type of paper, this is a coffee filter, see if it also has any starch in it. Oh, and look at that. Coffee filter doesn't have any starch in it. So this um, photocopy paper has starch, but the coffee paper does not. So with this experiment, you can use iodine to test any number of items to see if they contain starch. It's really fun to play with a number of different food items and even paper to find out which items have starch and which don't. So before we go, let's take another look at uh, the different food items and see which ones turned black and which ones stayed brown. Of the two different papers, you can see that the filter paper stayed brown, but the copy paper turned black. This tells me that the copy paper has starch in it. The watermelon stayed mostly brown, which means it doesn't have a lot of starch in it. The sweet potato and the two bananas turned a deep black, so that tells me that they have a lot of starch in them. And I thought this was interesting. The marshmallow has black on the outside, but is brown on the inside, which means that the marshmallow only has starch on the outside. The bread looks like it has starch all the way through. And the celery is mostly, uh, mostly doesn't have starch, but has a few little dots where there might be a little bit of starch. So just one more thing. Remember that iodine is poisonous, so you don't want to eat any of the foods that you've put iodine on. Take the foods, wrap them up, and throw them away, and also make sure that you wash your hands. 
So thank you for discovering real science with me. Join me next time and we'll do another fun experiment. Discovering Real Science with Rebecca is presented by Gravitas Publications Incorporated in collaboration with Burt Johnson Video Productions. Put video on your business website by visiting webbizvideos.com. We're done, but first a little more fun with the doctor. <laughs> Today, we're going to take a look at starches. <laughs> I don't know what else we're going to do. <laughs> I do not know why that makes me laugh. So if you're ever stuck in a paper store, you want to make sure you eat the copy paper and not the filter paper. I was seeing the little man walk by and he distracted me.